to the main stage. Welcome. If you're joining us on the live stream, it's great to have you with us. We have been talking a lot today about trucks when it comes to the future of logistics, and I think it's time to talk a little bit about something else. Trailers. My next guest is Stefan Binevis. He is the COO at Bernard Krona Holding, and he is going to do just that. A warm welcome for Stefan. <laughs> Yeah, hello everybody. Um, to be honest, it's cool to see you face to face again. And as you can see, I also brought some equipment, so we not just talk about the future of logistics, let's try to create the future of logistics. Um, as you know, uh, being a part of the Krone family, um, uh, I have to talk about trailers. We learned a lot about trucks this morning, um, and we try to talk about what could be the future of a trailer manufacturer in this future of logistic, be in the future. Um, as you know, and we see day to day, times are changing, and uh, times are changing quite fast. And, and McKinsey says, and, and I do believe in this, that right now the truck industry we talked about this morning um, is in the biggest transformation in history. And I do believe they are right. The trend and the transformation to zero emission vehicles is unstoppable. And in the end, it doesn't matter whether it's battery electric or fuel cell electric. In the end, it's all about green logistics. And what we all learn in our daily discussions with our customers, um, it will be then in the future a more use case discussion, which technology is right for which use case. But what's, what's in it for, for, for us as a production company of, of trailers? Um, uh, because to be honest, we have no powertrain, so we, we don't even understand this discussion. And I'm quite happy to not work for a truck company because these are hard decisions to take. What's the right technology to focus on? What's the infrastructure problem? Who can solve it? To be honest, I'm happy to work for a trailer manufacturer because, of course, we have a lot of levers, a lot of topics we can work on, and all the competitors, so the whole industry of trailer manufacturers are working on these issues, but they are, compared to the other truck problems, much smaller. So, of course, we work on... on, on, on on the telematic issues, um, we have, and all the competitors have, our telematics platform, and we increase efficiency through this. Yes, we do it. Uh, we talk and invest in automation, so we, we all invest in our industry in automation solutions like our box liner. And of course, electrification is a big topic. So every competitor in the market who has reefer in a product portfolio offers solutions for recuperation for the cooling units. And that's great. And with a, with a big frame of sustainability around it, everybody is working on solutions like getting our trucks lighter and making or improving aerodynamics to reduce CO2 even further. And that's great. I mean, we are trailer manufacturers. We have to go on with it. Because use case by use, has use case and step by step, we create less CO2 emissions, and that's great. But at that point, I think it's really time to stop at least for a second, not a minute. If the targets for CO2 reduction are as high as we see them to be, isn't it time to really think, even as a trailer manufacturer, out of the box? I think yes, and I brought the box with me. Because thinking out of the box as a trailer manufacturer has a real meaning. Because in our industry, if our suppliers and customers talk about a trailer, they talk about a black box. And that's a nice one, to be honest. There are also competitors and customers and suppliers who talk about the stupid shoebox. Okay, so, so if we are part of the solution because there is a truck and trailer teaming up 
to make logistics greener. Um, let's think out of this box, because I do think that it's time to think out of this box. And that's what we did. We as Kone, together with our partner Trailer Dynamics, we developed a powertrain, a battery electric powertrain for a trailer. So thinking out of the box means also taking the problems of our truck colleagues and also transferring the problems to our trailer because we are convinced if, as an industry, we, we, we will find solutions for the CO2 reduction targets, we have to use all resources we have. So we have to avoid, stop thinking at the borders of a truck if we need space, because we have much space on the trailer. So we managed with Trailer Dynamics within 18 months to put up a battery electric powertrain system on a trailer. And let's be clear on this one. This is not a stupid vision of me or my colleagues. I'm happy to tell you that from today on, the first e-trailer is running with a black license plate in Germany. So this is not a mock-up or a test version, whatever. From today on, the first e-trailer is running on German streets. So what does this mean for, for, for us as, as, um, uh, as being part of the industry, for our customers, for our suppliers, for, for the truck partners, but also for, for us as society? Um, we found out that if we really make it to industrialize this technology, we could be able, if you run a diesel fleet for your, with your trucks, we could be able to directly reduce our CO2 emissions, and diesel of course, by 20%. And if you run long run terms, to be honest, <laughs> I don't mind saying 40%. So there is a technology with the existing diesel fleet which we, which we could easily adapt to save 20 or up to 40% of CO2 emissions. That's a big one. Let's try it. The technology is there. Or if you also transfer your fleet into more battery electric vehicles or also fuel cell electric, the trailer also could help you because it can act as a range extender to help you even go faster, greener also on long distance. And I think uh, you all saw probably, and, and if not, uh, go and, and, and watch it, there is an e-actress running around with an e-trailer uh, of Trailer Dynamics outside. And my dream, I mean, we say now it's 800 kilometers, but my dream, personally, my dream is, in this combination, make it happen that we have a pure electric 1,000 kilometer logistics transport within the next 12 months. So that's not far away. Uh, we managed it by um, creating, of course, a powertrain, the first electric powertrain with an axle for a trailer, and we use, we use a, a, a smart uh, a kingpin, sensoric kingpin. And I would like to invite all of you, visit us at Hall 27, and um, there was a, a TV series in, in my past uh, where you had to push a button, Come and see and pull our kingpin and you can see how the system is working in real life, Hall 27 at the Krone Boost. Try it to understand it and then come back to us and start uh, the discussions. Of course, to be honest, I believe in this e-trailer. We have to change regulations in, in Europe, but that's stupid because in the US or in China we could directly implement this technology. Because in the US, for example, a trailer could also be a trailer without or with the powertrain. So, of course, we have to change regulations, but I believe in it that it will happen in Germany or, and in Europe over the next two years. And, and then let's wait and see whether this new technology is finding its place in the market. Let's wait and see. I'm convinced on it. But I, what, what I even more like is the idea of taking this stupid black box again, and seeing it as a baby, and with the idea of trailer dynamics and the powertrain system, this black box becomes 
or gets a heart, it gets energy, it gets arms and legs. And I do things that will become more and more important in the future because, because we enable not only our trailer, but all trailers to be an active part of a supply chain, not a passive part. So far, we always needed somebody to do with our trailer something. Now, step by step, we are changing it and it can be a more proactive part. And I think that's also very important for the future of logistics because step by step, the product itself isolated is less important. It's about solution. It's about end-to-end -end logistics supply chain solutions you create within an ecosystem. And to be part of this, material handling has to, do, has to be able to make a handshake. And with this movement, getting a battery on a trailer and probably a powertrain on it, uh, we are able to do that. And with, that, with this, we are enabling us as an industry to go the next step. We are able now to collaborate with other partners for process change. And I'm happy to announce today that Krone has entered an exclusive trailer partnership with, with Fernride. And Fernride, you know, with the network of it, uh, will step by step create solutions for automated, sustainable logistic solutions. And I'm convinced on it that we all, as an industry, have to do it. Together with Fernride and together with the e-trailer technology, we will work on the automation-ready trailer. Because we all talk about getting rid of problems we all face because we are, we are lacking drivers. So we, are not, we, 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 are, we shouldn't work only on problems on the truck to get rid of this problem of driver um, uh, missing. We also have to consider that the driver does something with the trailer. So we also have to make the trailer automation ready. And I promise you today, within the next 18 months out of this cooperation, we will surprise you with small, short product solutions which, which help our supply chain to improve. What I'm standing here today, being part of the trailer industry, is to ask all of the key players in our markets, have courage. Try step by step by step to use these new technologies we have. We have to enable all our resources we have available, find solutions together with partners, with customers, and by this, I think we can all step by step by step really achieve our heavy CO2 reduction targets. And remember, all the time, I do think that the competitors of the past might be the partners of tomorrow. We at Krone are convinced that it's about cooperation, working together, end to end. We have to get rid of all old thinking in the end because alone we won't win the game for CO2 reduction. Colleagues, thanks a lot. My personal meaning is that the transformation of the industry is also happening for trailer and it will be fast. I promise you it will be fast. If you want to, Please visit us, Hall 27. Try to pull our smart kingpin, not push the button, pull the kingpin, and most importantly, discuss with us what are the customer needs, what are the, what are the industry needs, and what further steps could we as a trailer manufacturer could do together with you in the future. Thanks a lot, it was a pleasure, and have a nice day. Stefan, thank you so much. Do you guys have a stand here you want to plug? Should we plug your, where are you positioned here? No, okay. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Once the adrenaline's over, sometimes you just go a little deaf. It's fine. We're on the main stage. We are continuing to talk about the future of logistics here. I am very pleased to introduce our next guest. She is the CEO of CV Charging.